Teacher education is critical to the future of our country, the future of our state, because it is really the way in which we create the context in which kids can all learn. Welcome to IMPACT, Preparing Effective Teachers for Urban Schools. I'm Anna-Marie Francois, Director of UCLA Center X. In this series on the IMPACT program, we will learn how to prepare new teachers by placing apprentices in urban classrooms alongside mentor teachers. In our first show, we'll present an overview of the IMPACT program. UCLA IMPACT is an 18-month residency program funded by the U.S. Department of Education to prepare math, science, and early childhood educators to work in our neediest urban schools. American schools are losing some of their best teachers at an alarming rate. Half of all urban public school teachers leave their schools within the first three years. To help combat this problem, the U.S. Department of Education invested $43 million in 28 programs across the country that are rethinking and reshaping teacher preparation for hard-to-staff schools and subject areas. UCLA IMPACT is one of these innovative programs. The Teacher Quality Partnership Grant Program was authorized with the 2009 reauthorization of the Higher Education Act. It's housed in the Office of Innovation and Improvement at the U.S. Department of Education. These grants are designed to improve student achievement through reforming teacher preparation programs. The goal of the Teacher Quality Partnership Program, that's an initiative of the U.S. Department of Education, is to combine a sort of triumvirate of partners to ensure that there is that quality education and quality teaching going on in our schools. And that's a combination of a school district, in this case, Los Angeles Unified School District, a university, in this case UCLA Center X, and a community partner, in this case the Center for Powerful Public Schools. The mission of Center X is to partner with schools and districts and communities to transform public schooling. It was created after the Rodney King uprisings to um, really participate in our communities around schooling and that we couldn't sit here on the west side and ignore what was going on in our city. So uh, we were created uh, to work with schools and teachers and districts uh, to make schools equitable places of learning for all children. LAUSD is very proud to be an active partner in this work. We've taken the partnership very seriously. We're in daily ongoing conversations about the use of pedagogy in our classrooms, the give and take that occurs between the teacher and the master teacher, the administrator at the school site, and support provided by central office. So we look at this as a seamless process. We don't consider it to be a university working with the district, but one group of committed individuals working for the greater good of educating our students. The role of the Center for Powerful Public Schools in the UCLA IMPACT program is to establish the school sites and the mentors that the pre-service apprentices are actually placed at. So we are the connector to schools that have exemplary practice within the Los Angeles Unified School District. 150 years ago, um, uh, the idea that revolutionized medicine the world over was first developed. The idea of an internship model where the nexus between the basic research, the practice, 
as mediated between more advanced learners and more novice learners, uh, transform, uh, transform the world. The idea of the teaching hospital, in a way, emerges an idea where, through the internship mechanism, these modes of learning would be uh, systematized and the synergies that are created uh, in that context can prove to be very, very powerful. You have to be able to do it in practice. It's not enough to know it by reading a book. Uh, and so we need to have excellent places for teachers to see good practice, to try out what they're learning with guidance, with supervision, just like doctors do in their internships and residencies. The goal of the UCLA Impact Program is to prepare highly qualified community teachers and urban school teacher leaders through a residency program that couples apprentices with a master teacher, which we call mentors, and they work alongside one another in a gradual release co-teaching experience for a full year. The idea behind the residency model is that the students are learning on the job. The UCLA Impact Urban Teacher Residency Program uh, is an opportunity for training teachers who are doing their student teaching to come into a classroom not just for a short time period, but to really um, become part of the classroom as a year-long teaching experience. I really appreciate the fact that UCLA has this residency program built into it. The fact that I get to, from the very first day, come into the classroom and then stay with the same students throughout the year has been invaluable, I believe, to me. The way I was teaching in October has definitely changed to how I'm teaching now. And so in a sense, I feel like I've already had my first year of teaching. Giving them much more time to observe, to be weaned into the teaching role in the class, to co-teach, um, I think that just builds their skills uh, a lot more successfully than you observe for eight weeks and then boom, you know, you have to take over a class. And it's a lot better for the students as well because students are often resistant if they have one teacher for a certain amount of time and then all of a sudden this young person who's learning takes over and may or may not be skilled. Whereas when they start the class with that person uh, as a co-teacher, as a support person, they see them as an integral part of the class. And I think that makes the transition so much smoother. Student teachers see examples of excellence or examples of good teaching. So if you believe that it's possible, it's one thing, but to see that it's possible is another thing. And if you match these teachers, student teachers that is, with model teachers and you begin to have them to work firsthand with them, they can see how these teachers develop the skills that they have, what they do when they have difficult students, how they help students who might be low performers, and how they might help students who are language learners. So to see it and to model it and then to be able to try it and get feedback, we think is an important model to have. All of the mentors that I've had experience working with have been amazing and really really enriching my um, my teaching skills. I've learned so much from each one, you know, a new skill set from each mentor. Watching them teach and having the opportunity to teach in their classroom with their guidance has been really beneficial to me. In this placement particularly, I've been really able to integrate my own practices. Caesar's been really open to letting me try out you know, the things I'm learning in the classroom or, you know, if I have an idea and he'll let me try it out and see how it works. Remember like two weeks ago I did my lessons on the five senses. What do you think of adding some sensory experiences to the tortilla factory lesson? Oh yeah, that would be great. Um, we're going to have a taste table. We can do, a, we can do a taste table, right? Taste table. And we're going to have also um, like a touch, a sensory a touch table. table, touch table, yes. Okay, so touch so. table. The biggest part of my role as an impact mentor takes place sort of behind <laughs> the scenes, and that's really with the planning and uh, reflecting, planning, planning practices and reflecting practices. So how did the lesson go? What are some things that you might want to do differently? To not necessarily offer up solutions to that, but to help the apprentice come to their own conclusion. How do you think today's lesson went? I think the lesson went pretty well. Most of the students seem to be engaged, and a lot of them seem to have a lot of good ideas about what to do with the project. Um, I think the Jot Thoughts activity went especially well because they knew how to do the activity, so they were able to actually use it to brainstorm ideas. Mm -hmm. And so do you feel like all the kids were able to have a pretty solid idea of what they wanted for the outcome of the project? And through that, you're able to make mistakes, um, get, get the real sense of being a teacher and what it's like. And then you, through reflection and and one-on-one -on -one with your mentor and your advisor, you're able to hone, hone in on your craft and, and perfect what you're doing in the classroom. 
Teacher education uh, has been improving over the last couple of decades. Uh, and there's a crucial moment right now for taking it to the next level of professional preparation. A key thing is connecting the coursework that helps teachers learn about learning and development and curriculum and teaching and connecting it to the clinical experience. What you have to realize is that it's important to learn here at the university in books with articles, but we believe at the end of the day where the rubber meets the road is when you're in the classroom. Hearing and seeing the challenges up close and personal, seeing teachers who are really phenomenal at what they do to understand how they help to model instruction, how they assess students formally and informally. So we believe that the real authentic learning takes place in the field where it's live action, real time, students and the challenges that they might have are, are hitting you at a fast pace. And so we believe that the field work is so important because that ultimately needs to be combined with what they've learned in the, in the theoretical uh, aspect of this work to help t teachers understand the connection between theory and practice. The program was, was really great with, with teaching sort of educational theory in the classroom. Um, and one of the things that was really great was an opportunity to take the theories that we learned and figure out how to apply that into the classroom setting. Um, I think that's, that's probably for me the, the best thing was taking these theories and learning how to apply them. The key difference is that the theory is not all uploaded at the front and then the student teaching in the later part, but it's a constant revisitation of theory and practice. So they go into the field they apply the theory and they come back and they reflect on their practice and then also then think about how the theory will then again inform their practice to better meet the needs of their students. Their field experience is really informing how they participate in their coursework and their coursework is being informed by that experience and I, I think that's made a huge difference in um, how our students think about themselves as teachers. Impact schools are located in three main areas. We began in the Belmont High School area, where we have something known as the Belmont Zone of Choice. And those are schools that are mostly pilot schools or small learning communities. Young Oak Chem Academy, this is where we're into our fourth year currently. Our school is approximately 880, 900 students. Um, we have two academies, a boys and a girls academy, single gender. We're focused on science, technology, engineering, mathematics, also some of the arts. And kind of, I think the big thing about our school is just uh, we developed the school with the purpose to really provide choice for parents to have a, a place where boys can learn in an all-boys environment or girls' environment. And our goal is to really target two underrepresented groups in the, sci in the STEM areas. In particular, females um, historically do not go into chemistry, physics, math, engineering. Um, so we're trying to get more girls into those areas and our African-American and Latino boys I'm going to, uh, preparing them to go into the STEM careers which historically they're underrepresented in those areas. I went to school um, to Belmont High School and um, all of my I guess my elementary school my middle school was also part of District 4 and to me it's important to come back and give back to my community. We also had the opportunity when the Robert F. Kennedy Community Schools opened to have both sites be impact sites and that's great because when you have apprentices and teachers at one location you have more of an opportunity to interface. In the Open World Academy were one of the six schools, one of the six pilot schools on the Robert F. Kennedy Community School campus. Opened in 2009 as a K-5 school, added the secondary piece uh, in 2010. Uh, have a theme of social justice, which fits in pretty suitingly here with uh, the Robert F. Kennedy Complex. Uh, also a uh, theme of uh, global awareness, environmental consciousness, and also technology awareness. We chose the schools that are current impact sites because they are sites of best practice. They are the most innovative schools within the Los Angeles Unified School District where there are personalized relationships between teachers, students, and families, where there is real student engagement, and where children really feel cared about and know that someone's on their side, someone's their mentor or coach, just like we have our mentor teachers with our apprentices. So there is that real feeling of family in the schools, 
Most of the schools are also small, so they are 400 to 500 students, and that really also leads to the personalized environment that we want our impact apprentices to experience. I was, had the opportunity to be with this class since the very start of the school year. Um, other programs, um, our regular two-year program, the students or the apprentices start more halfway in the year after they take a couple classes. I was in here with them since fall. And I think that has been something I'm very thankful for because um, I've written about it a lot that I feel like because I had the opportunity to start with the kids, I really got the teacher experience. There's a lot you can learn from, from a classroom and there's a lot you can learn from observing a mentor but then actually you know, getting a chance to develop your own project with the supports of a mentor and with the supports of, of a classroom of peers and also um, Amelda, who has who's been really great and really supportive through this whole process, you know, getting feedback from all these people and you know, doing it yourself, it's, it's, a, it's a different experience. And I think that was probably the biggest learning experience I've had. First, I would start to take over like the beginning of class. And then more gradually, I would tell Mr. Galan, Mr. Galan, can I take over that class? Because um, something that really helps is that I get to observe him. So I observe his lesson before I get to teach it. And that's something that maybe not everybody has the opportunity of having. And I feel uh, grateful that I have that opportunity because I get to see us like, oh, okay, so I really like what he did here. And I get to apply those kinds of things when I get to teach my class. And I also teach the day after I get to see him. So I really get that chance of um, examining or adding stuff that I want to add or applying stuff from methods or from the psychology classes. We learn about classroom management in our coursework at UCLA, but I think what I will take home is the exposure that I see with my mentor teacher. Um, I'm able to see her really follow up and try these strategies and I see what is effective and I can sometimes use the strategies used from our UCLA coursework and apply them here and see firsthand what works and what doesn't work. Ever since I started working with the, ment with the mentees, uh, as I was kind of learning to help them reflect, I started reflecting on what I do. And so I think that through reflection, I've been able to see things that in my, in my own, in the strategies that I use that they, I can kind of get rid of the ones that don't work and I can kind of um, uh, use the ones that work, but in, in, a, in a more efficient way than before. I don't, I don't keep trying the same thing over and over if it's not working. It's made a huge difference with the mentor teachers. I was in a, a meeting with a, a mentor teacher and a student and myself talking about the program, and even the mentor teacher said how important it was and how much she's learned and how much she's thought about who she is as a teacher when you become a mentor. Being a, a UCLA impact mentor has really challenged my ability as an educator because our, our mentors, the, the people that help us lead these other apprentices, um, are very clear about we need to be explicit. Why do I do what I do? How do I do what I do? And I think that that has challenged me. That part's exciting, and that's the community that we're building, that we are together in preparing teachers, and I think that's huge. <music> The schools have benefited greatly because they have two teachers in the classroom for the majority of the week. And so the students have had more personalized and individualized attention as well. And I think from what we've heard from the students so far, because we do check in with them and the teachers and the principals, it's really been a great benefit to the schools to have that extra adult in the classroom. That additional person in the classroom, that teacher, the additional apprentice with our mentors, makes such a difference. Again, personalization is key to uh, th the success of a pilot school, and that person in the classroom does so much to assist our students, working with the teacher, of course, but providing quality instruction. And the relationship thus far has been pretty fruitful, I mean, for our students, as well as our teachers, and as well as uh, the uh, apprentices that are coming in. Since there's a lot of students in class, um, many people need help, and it's good to have two, two teachers there to help you out with whatever you need. Like if one is busy, you could go to the other one and get information from both. And actually you could get feedback from both. So you'll get two different types of answers. Well, the benefit of having an apprentice teaching in your classroom is um, someone else to give you 
the perspective of the problem, of, of the lesson, pretty much, from another perspective as a teacher, you know? Because sometimes the teacher could explain it to you, but you might not be really, you might not get it, but if someone else comes and like explains it to you in their own way, that is benef way is so beneficial because you have, you're learning from it from two perspectives. So it's more information to process, and it's more information that will help you understand the problem. That's what's really important in my opinion for that. We have a high percentage of uh, English language learners and special needs students at our school. And, um, and we may have also those top honors students all in the same classrooms. So being able to have multiple teachers uh, to support them, to differentiate instruction, to care about them, to connect with them in tutoring after school, I think that's a win for our students and for our school. <music> Impact is about partnering. It's about recognizing the strengths that are in schools, recognizing the strengths that the community has to bring to preparing a teacher. From the very first day, our students are in the community, in the city, by the school, so that they know the city, they know the students, and they learn the importance that makes in being a good teacher. It's crucial that we go into the places that have been historically underserved in the city. Many times those are places Places where there are lines drawn with race and class and we want to make sure that in those communities there are high quality schools with effective teachers. At the end of year one students earn their California preliminary teaching credential and are hired to become full-time teachers. We're really looking at a whole big picture that starts out with the pre-service education of teachers but in a community context of where they're teaching because they need to know where they're teaching their neighborhood, the conditions in the schools, and then the school district really provides that continuum once they've done their pre-service teaching and that medical model in the classroom, the school district takes over, hires them, and we've had great success with our, uh, the hiring rates of our UCLA IMPACT apprentices. The IMPACT program prepares teachers for high need schools because they actually have to do their residency in high need schools. So it's not a surprise to them when they are interviewed or hired or asked to do a model lesson in a high need school. That's where the majority of vacancies are. So the reality speaks for itself. If they want to be employed by us, they have to interview in schools that actually have vacancies. And we have been really successful in being able to connect them to the administrators and site selection teams. And through the interview process, they, um, many of them have already received early contracts for this upcoming academic year. This year we hired two impact um, teachers from UCLA, um, two math teachers, Ms. Vega and Ms. Lugo. Um, both of them bring a certain life experience, I think, to the program. having lived the experience, they really bring that, um, how can I say, the, that affective domain um, into it that we just don't have to teach them that. Um, and they have a certain rapport with the kids immediately where they connect with the, teach the kids, how they interact with the kids. They've taken some of our most challenging groups of kids, our all boys classes, all girl classes, and just run with it. Once they graduate and they are actually full-time teaching in classrooms, IMPACT provides ongoing field support by an expert in the field who has teaching experience that goes out into the classroom and is there as a support person, provides feedback on their teaching, um, and is, engages the apprentice or the graduate at this point in critical dialogue around their practice. And I think you know, that's one of the other things that makes teachers leave the classroom is that once you become credentialed, you are isolated in a classroom, disconnected from your colleague, and you don't have an opportunity to talk about your own professional development and the kinds of things you're thinking about for your student. Whereas in the IMPACT program, because we follow them in the classroom for two years after they've earned their credential, there's always a critical friend. A common concern around new teachers is support, feeling supported in their, in their placement, in their school. Um, and then another one is always are related to classroom management and time management is something that they struggle with a lot and so 
over the past year and a half as I've been supporting them, we've addressed each of those issues um, with readings and conversations and tips and strategies. The support, I think that's what keeps me going as a first year teacher, knowing that I'm not alone and that I have students there. So every time I feel that it, this is hard, I, I just that support keeps me there and keeps me motivated that next year is gonna be a better year and then I'm gonna be a much better teacher. And when you feel like a professional, you're more likely to stay and do the work that you are committed to do. The Urban Impact Program is um, significant in its ability to train teachers for our students today and for future generations. It is uh, the way in which I believe all education programs in the future will build theirs. We just happen to be at the forefront as um, individuals who are willing to try something that was done differently. But there is no way in which you can become an effective teacher without teaching on a daily basis in the classroom with the students that you're serving. Teaching is complex. Teachers need to know about their content, about how to present that content to children, about how children learn so that they can make the connections. Uh, that all happens in teacher preparation. It is the linchpin for a good system of education. The year-long residency with a mentor teacher not only provides hands-on learning for the apprentice, but also benefits students by having an additional teacher in the classroom. This series will highlight best practices of an urban teacher residency program. Each episode focuses on a component of UCLA's impact program through the work of teams of mentor and apprentice teachers. Other episodes will highlight what it means to be a social justice educator, the experience of an apprentice teacher, the important role of mentor teachers, how data informs teaching, and the journey towards becoming an effective teacher. I'm Anna Marie Francois. Next time on Impact, we'll learn what it means to be a social justice educator.